Welcome back. The temperature has been unseasonably warm and we thought we would take advantage of this by going for a nice little hike and doing a little FSD drive right after that. We're just leaving the park right now on the eastern side of the city and as you can see we're going through a winding road. I am recording the audio for this after the fact just to share some thoughts from this drive. What we're going to see is a very interesting scenario coming up where we're going to be approaching a series of cyclists who are cycling on this narrow road and you can see them right there. As you can see, they're not all cycling behind each other, so they're taking up a bit of the lane. So FSD doesn't have the opportunity to pass them right now. Other things that are complicating the situation as well is we've got winding roads, relatively narrow lanes, and as you'll see in one second, we'll have some oncoming traffic. So FSD really needs to be patient at this time. And there you can see we do the nice, nice tight turn there with the oncoming vehicle. So FSD is evaluating these cyclists in front of us and waiting for its opportunity to move forward. As you can see, we've got some oncoming vehicles. So FSD is going to do the right thing and keep a safe distance behind those cyclists. Wait for those cars to pass and then evaluate if it's going to pass the cyclists. Now we've got another uh, complication coming up where the cyclists are now approaching a bridge. And if you can see here, the bridge actually narrows quite a bit in that it can only allow a one-way traffic. So there's no way of going around right now. So FSD again is going to wait for its opportunity, passing the bridge nice and comfortably. And now the road becomes two lanes again, waiting for this oncoming vehicle to pass. And now FSD is going to evaluate um, how it's going to go around these cyclists. It sees as they've moved over to the right, the speed is going to slowly pick up. It's looking for its spot there and there it goes. As you can see the wheel move a little bit as it goes around those cyclists. So FSD did a fantastic job there. It was very patient, didn't try to rush anything, kept the safety of myself and the cyclists in mind, and then made the appropriate pass. Just gonna speed the camera up here, as again, we're going through some winding roads, just to give you an idea of FSD, comfortably moving through this narrow, not getting spooked out at all by any of these oncoming cars. That was nice, comfortable turns there, and now it's gonna make a right turn. FSD is evaluating the traffic on the right and the left. It sees a clear opening and now makes its move. And as I've said many times before, I think FSD could enhance that by making a decision just a little bit quicker there. I have no issues with it making a full stop, but it could speed up just a little bit. Once again, I'm gonna speed the camera up again. And the reason why I'm doing that is because FSD is just doing a fantastic job comfortably moving in and out of lanes, making nice, comfortable right turns there. If you look at the wheel, you see it's not shaking and progressing very nicely. Nothing to report there and nothing to report there, then that's fantastic. It's doing a great job. And again, just advancing the camera a little bit here. FSD moves over to the middle lane, comfortably negotiates the left turn there at that fork in the road, no issues. Nice and smooth. As you can see, there's not much traffic at this portion here, so nothing too complicated. If you are living in an environment where there's not that much traffic, FSD is a fantastic experience that I find. We're gonna to have to be moving into uh, the left turn lane at the next light. As you can see, FSD already moved into the left lane well in advance, which was fantastic. As you can see here, it made its left turn. And again, I'm speeding up here, but it's doing a fantastic job with these narrow roads. It's gonna be making a right turn coming up. And this looks like a typical country road there, uh, narrow lanes, oncoming traffic. At no point here that FSD gets spooked out by any of that traffic, it was very comfortable going over multiple train tracks, no issues there, nice and smooth and comfortable. Fantastic job there. Okay, the next scenario we're gonna see coming up is gonna be a blind left turn that's gonna come around this bend. FSD has had issues in the past where when it's making those turns, it inches out bit by bit, which can be alarming to the oncoming traffic that's coming from the left. Let's see how it manages the left turn this time. This street is notorious for having a lot of traffic coming from the left and right, and let's see how FSD manages that. Stops, I'm looking to the left and right. And the vehicle is going to creep forward. You can see the wheel turning a little bit. It's creeping forward to establish a clear view on the left and right. Still moving forward. I would like the vehicle to stop at this point because it really has a good viewpoint from both sides. And it does so. So it's doing a fantastic job right now being very patient. As you can see, lots of vehicles coming from the left and right. And it's waiting and not moving forward. It doesn't need to move forward anymore. Now we have a vehicle, as you can see in front of me, that's going to be making a left turn. So FSD is doing the right thing and waiting for that vehicle to pass. 
and make its left turn. There's a vehicle behind it as well that wants to do a left turn. So FSD has to be patient here. Car is making its left. Very good, still not inching forward. Fantastic, letting the next car pass. And here's another car that's turning left. All right, now it finds its brake and it makes its left turn. Look at the wheel there, nice and smooth. No going back and forth on that. Fantastic job, really, really good job there. It was very patient with that left turn, but it moved uh, with good authority after that. Now I'm speeding things ahead until we get to the next scenario. Again, you have the roads here going up and down and FSD has no issues again with this driving scenario. Our next little challenge is going to be a pedestrian who is going to be walking on the road. Uh, as you can see, there's no sidewalks here. There really shouldn't be any pedestrians walking the road. As you look on the right there, there's a pedestrian. I'm going to slow down the camera a bit. Take a look at the speed of the vehicle right now, how it's slowing down, and take a look at the wheel. You can see FSD doesn't move out of the lane because there's an oncoming vehicle but it knows there's enough space between it and the pedestrian to move safely past them it slowed down to be cautious but didn't do anything unreasonable like moving out of the lane so good job there and we will now turn left into a plaza fsd knows the proper entry into the plaza makes the left turn does a good job there so we'll have a little lunch and then we will pick up this video after lunch all right, now we are going to be making a left turn here. We're gonna wait for the light to turn. Lots of vehicles that are coming from the other direction right now. Let's see if we have our opportunity to move forward. Nope, the light changes. So we're gonna have to wait for those vehicles and be patient. So FSD is slowly moving forward, measuring the distance between the vehicle in front of me and my car. And it's also taking a look at all the oncoming vehicles there. Lots of vehicles coming from the other direction. Let's see how FSD manages that. Again, moving forward, inching out a little bit. Wheel starting to turn. Finds a little break there. There's an oncoming vehicle you can see right there, but FSD says there's enough space and there's enough time for it to do its left turn. As, as you can see, it was a nice left turn there. Goes immediately into the right turn lane. Um, so, this was a really, really good left turn there in that it wasn't confused when it made its decision and moved forward with good authority there. So I really appreciate that. And now the title of this video, FSD needs to make a right turn here. There's a bus in front of me. As you can see, FSD is going to make an incorrect decision and try to go around this bus. This is a defect and this has happened multiple times. I think what's happening is that FSD is confused by this vehicle and thinking it stopped and wants to go around it. It seems to always do this with large vehicles and buses. Now I have to go and reactivate FSD again. The bus is starting to move forward and FSD is not looking to go around it now. It's waiting for it to pass and then it'll do the correct uh, behavior and turn right. But this is an issue that happens over and over again with stopped buses in the right turn lane. FSD just seems impatient and wants to go around it without taking the time to evaluate to see if it's actually an active bus that's going to be moving shortly. Something the Tesla engineers need to note. All right, fast forwarding here again to a left turn. Again, what I want to highlight is how smooth the left turn is. Look at the wheel. Nice and smooth. Yeah, and I always highlight the smooth turns there because I've seen FSD with a wheel kind of a little indecisive moving left and right and kind of uh, jolting the car back and forth. But again, a nice smooth left turn there. All right, I'm just going to speed up because again, um, no issues here. FSD is doing fantastic driving, staying in the proper lane. It's going to be doing a right turn in a couple of minutes. So we'll see when it goes and makes that turn into uh, the right lane. All right, good management there. Evaluating the cars in front and the cars to the right. When those cars in the right open up, FSD should be moving into the right lane. Again, lots of cars there on the right, waiting for them to pass. Being patient, but the right turn is going to be coming up very soon. And there we go. It makes its right turn. All right. 
Now I'm slowing down the camera here again. Um, you see that the car is moving into the right turn lane. And what I notice FSD does is that the right indicator will turn on, but not stay on. It'll go off and then it'll turn on and then sometimes it'll turn off again. What it really needs to do as an improvement is consistently keep that right indicator on because I am going to be making that right turn there uh, throughout that. I don't know if it's thinking I'm gonna be turning right into the plaza, it waits for me to pass the driveway and then reactivate it again. But usually I would just keep that indicator on the entire time. And here's uh, the last issue we come up with. We have a right uh, lane here that's going to be ending. FSD tried to move out of this lane before, but could not. It should be moving out now, but I'm gonna have to disengage and move it out of the right turn lane, because um, it was just gonna run out of space there. So again, uh, the issue with that is if it did the correct thing and tried to move out of that lane before, it wouldn't have uh, run into that situation. So that's pretty much it for this drive. I'm just going to fast forward here because everything else beyond this was absolutely flawless from FSD moving into the left turn lane. So let's do a quick recap of today's drive. Some of the highlights from this drive were some fantastic behavior behind those cyclists there. It was very patient around them and it made the appropriate decision when to pass them in a safe manner. The lane changing was fantastic as usual with FSD. It made the right decisions and usually did a good job of turning into the correct lanes um, well in advance. Um, once again, we had that huge issue waiting for the bus in front of us where FSD was impatient and tried to go around the vehicle, mistakenly thinking that it was a stopped vehicle. But otherwise, very natural behavior from FSD and I think overall this was a fantastic drive. Thanks for taking some time to watch this video today and I appreciate all your comments. You all drive safe, and I'll see you on the roads.